me tell you what's been getting under my skin lately. The goddamn Catholic Church. The Vatican, or simply put, the Catholic Church, is full of child molesters, pedophiles, and rapists. I'm gonna read just some of the many horrible things finally being exposed in the Catholic Church. I'll post the links to the articles in the description box below. Here's a brief rundown on some of the sexual abuse reported by Patheos. Father Frank Fromholzer asked one girl when she was 13 or 14 to read a story about Jesus that included the phrase, The cock crows three times. He made her repeat that phrase several times. When she left class, he leaned in and nuzzled on her neck and asked the, the victim if she knew what a cock was. Father Edward Graff was about to anally rape a child, but the victim ran away before it could happen, even though it meant running into the street mostly nude. Father Chester Gronsky fondled and masturbated at least 12 different children by saying he was just showing them how to check for cancer. When one of these stories went public in 2002, Bishop Donald Trotman chastised the victim by arguing that he was only 14 when it happened, not 11 like the article said. Father William Presley abused three victims, one as young as 13, with choking, slapping, punching, rape, sodomy, fellatio, anal intercourse, and more. Father Thomas Skodik raped an underage girl, got her pregnant, and then paid her for her abortion. His bishop later said, This is a very difficult time in your life, and I realize how upset you are. I too share your grief. That letter was addressed to Father Skodik, not his victim. Father Edmund Perico admitted to molesting approximately 35 male children because sex with girls was sinful and raping boys didn't violate them. One altar boy said Perico told them to get naked under their cassocks during mass because God didn't want man-made clothes touching their skin during services. Father Henry Marcinic is the reason one victim said, As an adult, I don't remember the last time I laughed. That same victim confessed that I peed in Father Marcinic's mouth because he used to come in mine, and that he felt like he was freaking prostituting himself at the age of 12 or 13. Father Robert Molsoner taught middle school kids how to give blowjobs by telling them Mary had to bite off the cord and lick Jesus clean when he was born. Father Augustine Jalea abused five girls in the same family. Among other things, he collected their urine, pubic hair, and menstrual blood in a device attached to his toilet. Then he ingested some of it. All of this happened after he worked at a Catholic high school and had been accused of telling a student he wanted to watch her go to the bathroom. Father Richard Zula asked three altar boys to pose like statues and tried to tie them up with rope. Zula also used whips and leather straps on a victim after tying up the person's hands. Father Caparelli raped several boys as young as 10. He was eventually put in prison where it was discovered he had been HIV positive for years. And Father Francis Lesenick told a victim that if he confessed his sins and wasn't too bad, he'd get to suck a strawberry lollipop or popsicle. After these confessions, which happened multiple times, Lesenick would whip his dick out and say it was a strawberry lollipop. And from a scienceenthusiast.com, Priests were raping little boys and girls, and the men of God who were responsible for them not only did nothing, they hid it all for decades. And if that one's not enough, one of the incidents in the reports details how a group of Catholic priests in Pittsburgh ran a child pornography ring. The priests would work together as a team to select a child. As a victim explained in his grand jury testimony, he said, The men gave a specific gift to children they favored, something they could wear that would mark them as prime targets for abuse. Zurus had told me that they, the priests, would give their boys, their altar boys, or their favorite boys, these crosses. So if these priests basically enjoyed raping you, they'd give you a fucking cross so that other priests and members of their sex cult would know that you are a good, easy target. 
Listen, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's way more to report. There's too much to report. This shit gets my blood bulling. If I saw a child getting raped, I would do everything within my power to stop it from happening. That's the difference between me and your God.